to know that you are talking to a scammer on a dating app. <laughs> is a two-part video sign number one that you are talking to a scammer on a dating app is they try to come off as very god-fearing so what they'll tell you is that they're god-fearing how much they love god they just come off that way because they want you to let your guards down they want you to believe that they have a lot of character about themselves they want you to trust them some people who date online that might be God-fearing. But this particular person, they really go in depth about it. Sometimes when a person come off in that manner, they want you to think that you are so safe with them. You have to be careful with that. Number two, they will introduce themselves as Bob Liar by name. People online that are looking to scam you, they're going to give you their whole name and then they're going to say, by name. Okay, that's clue number one because nobody that I know and probably nobody that you know either that's in the States introduced themselves that way. So that's sign number two to know that you are dealing with a scammer on a dating net. Number three, they ask you, are you married with children? This is a big one. The reason why they ask you that is because they are definitely about to scam you. That's a red flag. Most of the time, most men will ask you, do you have children or how many children do you have? Um, they're not going to ask you, are you married? Because most people know when you're dating online, most of the time, that you're not married. Okay? Um, now, you do have some people that will still ask, are you married or have you been married? Um, because you, you have people that date online that are married. Hey, but they're still online, okay? How a scammer is going to ask that particular question, they're going to ask you, are you married with children, okay? It's like a two-part question. When you hear them ask you a question like that, I hope that the antennas go up because that is a red flag that most likely they are getting ready to scam you, okay? Number four, they might say that they have a young daughter or a young son and the mother is deceased and you ask okay well where is the kids at and the kids is living with some other relative like the grandmother or the aunt the kids are never with them when you ask where the children at be careful with them because they will use that line to play on your emotions okay so you have to watch when you run into them and they tell you that they are a widow and they have young children, but the children don't live with them. Number five, they will use the term dear, baby. Like they use a lot of terms of endearment. The reason why they use those terms of endearment is because they want you to feel, again, very comfortable with them. When you meet someone online and they start using terms of endearment like that I have done before is I have corrected them with my name and asked them to not use that okay now even when you do that they still frequently by accident continue to do it okay and when they continue to do it you continue to correct them if you have to tell them a third time you have to tell them just like this and mean it if you do that again I'm going to hang up I don't know you well enough for you to be calling me dear and you mean that. I don't know you well enough to be calling me dear baby. I don't know you well enough, okay? And you mean that. And if they do it again, you politely hang up the phone. That's how you handle that. Because they are really good about trying to get you comfortable. Now, I don't know if I'm on number five or number six. Six. They tell you that they are from the U.S., but they use certain words wrong. So, color might be color what c-o-l-o-u-r neighbor might be neighbors flavor would be pronounced flavor f-l-a-v-o-u-r is how they would spell that when you listen to the pronunciation of the word then you know that they are not from here because if they are from the states then of course they know how to pronounce certain words so that's another clue that you might be dealing with a scammer, which also will tell you that they didn't learn English in the U.S. Number seven, 
they'll tell you I'm from New York, but they have me on a job assignment out here in Germany. And then when you ask them, well, what is the job assignment? And they'll say, well, I'm a doctor. Um, I'm a contractor. I'm employed as an engineer. I'm an oil rig worker. Then when you ask them about certain job descriptions, so you say, oh, okay, so what exactly is your job? Or you say something along the lines of, oh, okay, well, tell me what your job is. And what they'll do is they'll Google the job description of a doctor or oil rig or, or um, whatever they tell you their occupation is. They'll Google it they'll send you exactly what Google says. This is how you check to see if they're lying, even on that end. So you can cut and paste that whole thing that they send you, and you take that and you do a Google search on it, okay? And if that comes up with everything they told you, then you already know that they're lying. You don't have to let them know that they're lying. Just go ahead and play their game and see exactly what else they're gonna do next. Number eight, this one here is a huge red flag. They will declare their love for you. Now, you've only been talking to them now for 30, 40 minutes. They already love you. They already like you so much. Oh, they just want to send flowers to your house right now. Like, they are so into you already. Declare so much like for you. That is a huge red flag because nobody likes you that much that you have yet to meet. You haven't even met them. You don't know them from a can of sardines and they are already declaring how much they like you. This is a real big red flag. In ending, if you got anything from this video, do me a favor and click that like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and comment and let me know some of your red flags that you received from scammers or from people that you were talking to on a dating app or even off of a dating app that was trying to scam you and you knew it. Tell me some of the things that they've said to you um, while you were talking to them. Thank you for watching and have a great day.